Hello everyone, my name is Hannah. Welcome to a new weekly reading vlog. So I am currently reading Shadow Princess, which is the fourth book in the Zodiac Academy series. I'm not very far in at all. I'm on page 102. So like, <laughs> I'm 100 pages in. Look how tiny of a dent that made. But yeah, this is a this is a pretty chunky book. So I definitely think it would count for the chunky book prompt for the Realmathon. So if you don't know, if you didn't watch my last vlog, I am planning to participate in the Realmathon or Realm of the Readathon, which is hosted by a bunch of different people, but I believe it was created by Covers with Cassidy. So I'll leave her announcement video linked below with like the explanation of it. But basically it's a month long readathon in April that's like fantasy themed. And you pledge yourself to a kingdom and that kingdom has a specific subgenre. And if you read a book in that subgenre, you earn like extra points for your kingdom. So I'm pledging Bale. And the subgenre for Bale is a fantasy romance. So this whole series counts for fantasy romance. So hopefully I can finish the series this month and earn lots and lots of points for Bale. But yeah, I am having the best time reading this series. I read the first three books in my last vlog. So you can go watch that if you want to see my initial feelings but they're pretty much all the same i'm just having like the most fun ever reading this so this is what i'll be reading at least for the next couple days i do read them very quickly because they're so addicting and like we're just getting just like so many so many things are happening in these like in the last like book so i'm really excited to see where the story is going to go in this one so i'm hoping that i can read this in like two or three days even though it's like a beast of a book but yeah i I'm just really enjoying this. So that's what I'll be reading for the next couple of days. But Christina and I actually have our live show for Throne of Glass tonight. It was supposed to be yesterday, but a lot of stuff happened and we had to postpone it today. So that is happening tonight. It's in, it's at six. So I have about an hour and a half. I'm making dinner now. I have to go shower and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to talk about Throne of Glass. I can't wait to see what Christina's thoughts and her rating and stuff are. So that will definitely be a fun time. But yeah, I just wanted to pop in quick to start this vlog and let you know what I will be reading to start this vlog out. Hopefully it's only a couple days and I'll be able to start the next one. But yeah. <laughs> We just finished our live show for Throne of Glass. It was so much fun. So amazing. So amazing. It was awesome. If you haven't already subscribed to Christina, make sure you go and do that. Her content is amazing. Her vlogs are so much fun. But go subscribe right now to this beautiful, beautiful girl. All right. So it is a little bit later from that last clip. Christina and I just got to talking. So the live show went really, really well. It's so much fun. I'm just, I'm so grateful for Christina and her friendship. Like, I just, I love her so much. And so we got to talking and... I told her that I'm participating in Realmathon and I wanted to find some like shorter fantasy romance books and she had just started reading the Ice Planet Barbarian series and I asked her she mentioned Katie Robert and I asked her if she read The Dragon's Bride which is the new like fantasy romance monster romance or whatever and then I said I wanted to find shorter fantasy romances to read for Realmathon and she's like what's Realmathon so I told her all about it she's like that sounds like so much fun and she's joining and she's pledging to bail. <laughs> so all of the books that she's read so far in April are counting. And she's read like six or seven fantasy romances already. And like some other books that she's still counting. But oh, I love it. So then anyways, we were talking about how I have a four day weekend coming up. And how I wanted to save these like shorter fantasy romances for a 24 hour readathon. I was like, I might do one this weekend. And she was like, should we do one together? <laughs> So now we're going to do a 24 hour readathon this weekend and read some fantasy romances and pledge our magic to Bale. I'm just, I'm so, I'm so excited. It's so much fun. I just love my bookish friends. They are amazing. And I'm just having so much fun right now. April is shaping up to be like the best month of 2022 so far. My necklace is acting weird. Gotta have it facing the right way so you can see the crescent city anyways so i am probably not going to read very much tonight because it is getting late now and i kind of just want to watch some booktube so i'm probably gonna go do that but i will check in tomorrow whenever i can <laughs> Thank you. 
we are getting hit by some hail right now. <laughs> we have like a huge storm going through. Um, I thought it was just gonna be rain, but it's like, it's hail. It's like pea-sized hail by us, so it's not that bad. But by Brandon's brothers, it's like, I don't know, what, what size would that be? Like just a little bit smaller than a Brussels sprout. <laughs> I don't know what size it is. Anyways, I am cooking a pizza right now for dinner and I'm about to hop on Sprints on Sahar's channel. So I'll be reading Shadow Princess still. I made it to page 333. 333. 333. So I'll be reading this. I am about halfway through it now and really, really enjoying it. So I have about a half hour before we do the sprints on Sahar's channel, which I'm really excited about. And yeah, I just thought I'd pop in and say that. Okay, bye. <laughs> Good morning everyone. I'm still <laughs> in my pajamas. I'm just getting ready for work. But sprints on Sahar's channel were really really fun last night. It was awesome and I got to meet some people that I've like talked to but haven't like talked to. You know what I mean? But anyways, I did make quite a bit of progress into Shadow Princess. I'm on page like 560 I think. So I have about 100 pages left, 120 pages left. So I'll definitely be able to finish this today. And I'm really nervous because some of the people on the sprints last night were saying like the ending is really heartbreaking and intense. And I'm just, I'm really nervous. <laughs> I finished Shadow Princess today. The ending, <laughs> the ending. <laughs> I knew that that was what was going to happen. I knew it. And the whole time I was just hoping that it wouldn't, but it did. I, I got so frustrated in this book at times. Like there were parts when I'm just like, I'm over it. I'm over the bully part of this bully romance. I'm ready for the freaking romance. But like frustrated like that in a good way because it's so slow burn. But yeah, I still ended up giving those five stars. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I know I've said it like a thousand times when I'm talking about this series, but I'm going to say it again. I'm just having a lot of fun. <laughs> and like the plot is really, really getting good. So yeah, I finished that. <laughs> I did enter it into the Realmathon spreadsheet. I used it to um, increase Bale's magic because it went for like a lot of good increasing points. And it's a fantasy romance, so it counts for my realm's subgenre. But yeah, it's like obviously enemies to lovers. They're like literally enemies to lovers. There were some other ones. I can't remember exactly what I put it for, but yes. So I did finish this one. And I am just like, how am I supposed to read something else? How am I supposed to do that? So I have the fifth one. Um, Cursed Fates, this one is called. Oh, the font is different. Is the font different or is the size just different? It just looks like smaller. Do you see that? Can you tell? Anyways, I think they did that so that this could be like a certain number of pages because I'm sure when you publish it, like I think the Kindle version of this is like way longer than the other ones. It's like 800 and something Kindle pages, but the paperback is like the exact same as this book. It's like just over 600 pages. So yeah, they must have just like narrowed the spacing a bit so they could fit more words on a page. But yes, I will be picking this one up. <laughs> I can't stop reading them. I don't know what I'm going to do when I finish the seventh book because the eighth one doesn't come out until December. And I've just been like finishing them and immediately being like, how am I supposed to stop there? How am I meant to read something else? <laughs> so I guess we'll see once I get there because I, I can't, I'm not slowing down. I can't slow down. I do have other books on my little TBR cart that I like, I want to read. I want to read. I just can't stop reading these. And I am a mood reader in my heart, so this is where we're at. <laughs>
173 of Cursed Fates. <laughs> oh, I'm loving it. I, oh, God. I think I just... I'm, I'm a masochist, I think, because <laughs> it's so painful, but I love it. Anyways, that's it. <laughs> Thursday night. I don't remember where I was at in my last update, but I do know that I have read a little bit more of Cursed Fates and I'm still really loving my time with this. I'm like about halfway through. I'm on page 329. So I'm about halfway through. I am not gonna read any more tonight. Um, I went and saw a movie tonight, so it's a, quite a bit later than usual, and I honestly just want to catch up on some booktube videos because I'm pretty behind. My watch later list is getting longer and longer by the minute, honestly, so I want to watch some booktube videos that I'm excited to watch, so I'm going to do, go do that until I fall asleep tonight, but it's a long weekend for me. I have Friday and Monday off, so it's a four-day weekend for me. So tomorrow my D&D group is meeting and we're going to do a session, which is going to be really fun. I'm so excited because this storyline is just like so much fun to play. So I'm going to do that tomorrow and hopefully, hopefully I can finish Cursed Fates tomorrow because I just like, I really want to. <laughs> but then on Saturday, Christina and I are going to do a 24-hour readathon together and we're going to read a bunch of fantasy romance, like shorter books. She is in the middle of the Ice Planet Barbarians series, so I want to give it a shot because, honestly, a bunch of people are picking it up and saying, like, yes, it's a little bit ridiculous, but it's actually kind of good. So I want to check it out and give it a shot. Um, and we're also going to buddy read The Dragon's Bride by Katie Robert, <laughs> which is another one that's, like, a little bit ridiculous, but still a fun time. So that's what I'm here for right now. But yeah, I'm just going to go watch some booktube for tonight, so I will check back in tomorrow when I actually do something. <laughs> At first glance, human-like, but there's no eyes. There's just skin. Is he in range of you? Well, I would move. Yeah, it's within 30 feet. Oh, yeah. So you can literally just get to him? All right. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so I will go here and blast. Hello. We just, well, not just, but we finished our D&D sesh, which was really fun. We got to level up our characters that time and defeat some big baddies. And we had our first kill and one of our players died. <laughs> It was so tragic. I do not want to die. I've grown so attached to the character that I play. Like, I do not want to die. <laughs> but anyways, we are home now and I plan to read more of Cursed Fates. So I'm still exactly where I was the last time I updated. So I still have about half of it left. I don't think I'll be able to finish this tonight. That would be really ambitious of me. But you never know. Sometimes I surprise myself. I did get 
books seven and well one as told by the boys so that should be interesting so i have i have them all for zodiac academy now and the funny thing is i have convinced <laughs> um unwittingly convinced a bunch of people to pick up the zodiac academy series i got so many comments on my last vlog that people are like oh my gosh your excitement for this series makes me want to read it or i picked this up because of you and <laughs> it's just so funny Christine is reading it now, Kirsten is reading it now, and Kirsten like doesn't read fantasy, so hopefully she enjoys it. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I am just having so much fun with it, so I really hope that everyone else that's picking it up because of me is going to also have fun with it. I am actually doing a 24-hour readathon with Christina, and I think Sahar is going to join us. We're going to just read fantasy romance for 24 hours, so I'm probably going to end the vlog tonight. And you know what? When I have a 24-hour readathon, I feel like I get so productive cleaning the house and organizing things because I don't want to do anything tomorrow. So I'm like cleaning everything tonight so that all I have to do tomorrow is read. And I'm just feeling very productive. So I'm cleaning everything. I'm going to go take a shower. I have to fold the laundry, put another load of laundry in, clean the bathroom a little bit. I just finished the dishes and cleaned up the kitchen. So it's going to be spick and span in here so that I have nothing else to focus on but reading tomorrow so um I'm not gonna like end the vlog here yet because I want to see how far I can get into Cursed Fates so I'm gonna go finish cleaning and doing you know the things and then I'm gonna read for a little bit and then I'll end the vlog later tonight when I see how far I made it all right I <laughs> I did not read anything tonight I finished cleaning and I watched a little bit of booktube videos. I edited a video. So I wasn't completely unproductive. I just, I just didn't read anything. So I guess sometimes I am very ambitious and it pays off. And sometimes I am very ambitious and nothing comes of that. So I am still about halfway through. So I'm just going to read this one for my 24 hour readathon tomorrow. So yes, this will probably be the first book that I pick up for the readathon. Oh my God, I forgot. I have a little wizard tattoo. I got these for D&D because I saw them at the dollar store. And they had like so many that looked kind of like what our characters are. Like my character is a wizard, not one with a big white beard, but still it's cute. So we had temporary tattoos because we're ridiculous. But anyways, that's not the point. Um, so yeah, I <laughs> let me let me turn you around here. <laughs> So I am just going to call this vlog here because I wanted to do a separate reading vlog for the 24-hour readathon. So stay tuned for that. And if you made it this far in the video, let's see, what should you put? Put the star emoji in the comments down below if you made it to the end of this video. And thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.